Hi, welcome back. This is Rakesh Naik. Today we are going to see few more examples on pushdown automata. The examples that we have taken today are seems to be similar to one another, but there is a lot of difference while designing it. Watch till the end of the video, you will be able to know all about it. But before we start, a small information I'd like to say. In this channel, we produce every video in two different languages. If you want to watch this video in Hindi, kindly follow the link given in the description. And if you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will get regular updates on this channel. So, let us start. Let us take today's first example. Construct a PDA that accept language A to the power N, B to the power N, C to the power M, where M and N are greater than or equal to 1. It means what? We are going to generate the strings of this form. A, B, C, A square, B square, C, A cube, B cube, C to the power 4, A to the power 4, B to the power 4, C square, it means the number of A's and number of B's must be same, whatever may be the number of C's. Let us take this particular string, A cube, B cube, C square. It means there are three A's followed by three B's followed by two C's. Let us see the observation. A is the starting symbol. We can generate any number of A's after the first A. When the first B will appear, A can never appear after that. As many A's are there, that many B's need to be appear. After the appearance of first C, A or B can never appear. And to implement this, we need to have some requirements. As number of A's and number of B's need to be same, so we need a counter that will count how many number of A's we have generated. For that, we need a stack. So every time A, a will be appearing, We'll be pushing it onto the stack. For every B appeared, we'll pop a single A to equate. When all the A's will be popped out and there is no more C that has appeared, then we can say that the string is accepted. Let us try to design it. As we have already told that A cube, B cube, C square, before that we'll write one epsilon and after that we'll write one epsilon. This epsilon will indicate my string just to be started and this epsilon will indicate the string already complete. So when the first epsilon will appear, we are going from state Q0 to Q1. And the level R is epsilon, comma, epsilon, arrow, Z0. It means epsilon is there as a input string, epsilon is there in the top of the stack and Z0 we are going to push onto the stack. So the transition will write delta of Q0 epsilon epsilon equal to Q1 Z0. Next, the first symbol A will appear. When A is the input symbol and Z0 is on the top of the stack, then we will push A Z0 onto the stack. So we are going to pop Z0 and after that we will push Z0 and the input symbol A after that. So the transition will be Delta of Q1 is at not equal to Q1 is at not. The next symbol that we are getting is A. Now A is the input symbol and A is on the top of the stack. So we are going to push A A onto the stack. It means what is there on the top of the stack will pop out. We will push that first and then the input symbol A. And the transition will write in this manner that delta of Q1 A A equal to Q1 A A. As long as it is in this particular situation, A is the input symbol and A is on the top of the stack, then we will be there every time in the state Q1. The next symbol we are having is one more A. And for this A, we can see that A is on the top of the stack and A is the input symbol. So we are going to push the input symbol A onto the stack and will be remaining in the state Q1. Now, number of A's got completed. We'll be having number of B's. When the first B will appear, we are going to pop a single A from the top of the stack. It means we are going to write B 
is in the input symbol a is on the top of the stack so we'll be popping out the a which is there on the top of the stack so in the form of transition we can write is delta of q1 b a equal to q2 epsilon it means we were there on the state q1 and found a input symbol b and top of the stack was a that's why we popped it up and gone to the state called q2 the next input symbol is one more b so we are having b as the input symbol a as the top of the stack so again we are going to pop it up so as long as we are having this situation we will be in the state q2 only so we are going to pop it up and in the form of transition if you want to write it will be like delta q2 b a equal to q2 epsilon there is one more b we are having and a is on the top of the stack again we are going to pop it up and transition for this will be the same like delta of q2 b a equal to q2 epsilon now the next symbol is c so when c is appearing what we are going to do we are going to pop z not and again push the same z not it means c is on the top of the stack and z not is the stack symbol we are going to push z not only so the transition will be delta of q2 c z not equal to q3 z not so as many c will be having after that we are going to do this particular transition so next symbol is again ac and the top of the stack is again z not the same thing we are going to do c comma z not arrow z not it means we are going to pop z not out again we are going to push the same z not into the stack and the next symbol is epsilon so when epsilon is there as the input symbol and z not is a top of the stack then we will simply pop out z not and go to state q4 to indicate the string is already accepted so now you can see there is nothing there in the stack and there is no input symbol or you can say the input symbol is epsilon so the string a a a b b b c c got accepted i hope you understood this let us try to modify the language accepted by the pda a little bit let the language be a to the power n b to the power m and c to the power n now we need to compare a and c not b so our string will be of this particular format a cube b square c cube it means three a's followed by two b's then followed by three c's and the observation we can see that a is the starting symbol when the first a appear after that as many a may appear when the first b appear a can never appear after that when the first c will appear b or c can never appear and we need to see that as many a appeared that many c need to be appear and for that the requirements are in order to count the number of a's we need a stack for every a we got we need to push it onto the stack for every b appeared we need not do anything and whenever a c appear we need to pop out a to equate so let us try to do this so when epsilon appeared epsilon is the input symbol and epsilon is on the top of the stack so we pushed z not onto the stack and the transition we will write in this form delta of q not epsilon epsilon equal to q1 z not the next input symbol is a when a is there and z not was there on the top of the stack then i pushed a z not onto the stack so after the execution of this particular steps the stack will look like this it means delta of q1 a z not equal to q1 a z not now the second a appear at this time a is the input string and a is at the top of the stack so we are going to push a a onto the stack so we are going to write the transition in this way delta of q1 a a equal to q1 a a next the input symbol is a the same thing a is the input symbol and a is on the top of the stack so we are going to push a a onto the stack 
the next symbol is b so b is the input symbol and a is on the top of the stack so what we are going to do we are going to pop a out again we are going to push a onto the stack it means the stack data remains as it is so delta of q1 b a equal to q2 a so we have popped out a again pushed a onto the stack so the data in the stack remains the same the next input symbol is b and a is on the top of the stack so we are going to do the same thing b a derives a it means delta of q2 b a equal to q2 a as we have already discussed whenever b will appear we need not do anything so there is no push and no pop operation after any number of b in the input string now c appeared as the input symbol we are at state q2 on input symbol c and the stack symbol a we are going to pop it out and go to the another state called q3 so we can write delta of q2 c a equal to q3 epsilon now after the execution we'll be having this c as the input symbol and a is the top of the stack so we are going to pop whatever is there on the top of the stack after the execution we will be having this now the input symbol is c and top of the stack is a so we are going to pop out this particular a and we will be remaining there in state q3 now epsilon is there as the input string and z0 is on the top of the stack we are there at state q3 input symbol epsilon appeared and z0 is the stack symbol we'll simply pop it out and go to the final state so we are going to write the transition in this fashion i hope you understood this pda also so now nothing is there in the stack and nothing is there and the input symbol so we can say the string a a a b b c c c is accepted let us take one more example you can see here now in this example of pda we are taking this language a to the power m b to the power n and c to the power n where m and n greater than equal to 1 when the first symbol epsilon appeared we have seen from starting symbol q to q will go with the level r case epsilon comma epsilon z not now number of a's will appear as we are not matching number of a's with b's or c's we are matching number of b appear and number of c appear so nothing we need to do for number of a appear if a is the input symbol and z not is on the top of the stack every time we will be pushing only z not onto the stack it means we are going to pop z not and again push the same z not now let us see the number of b appear when b is the input symbol either z not is the stack symbol or b is the stack symbol when z not is on the top of the stack then i'll push b z not otherwise i'll push b b onto the stack when c appeared as the input symbol b is supposed to be on the top of the stack so every time there is a c appear we are going to pop a b from the stack and the last symbol is epsilon when epsilon is there as the input symbol and z not is the top of the stack then we are going to pop z not from the stack and we will reach the final state i hope you understood all the three pdas that we have discussed and in each examples there is a small change from the other example and you can see that how the design of the pda changed when the language changed so if you understood give me a like and share among your friends in our next video we are going to take few more examples like this Till then take care. Bye.